Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, golden logo animation in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. Here you can see, I have already imported the background image, logo and reflection media file, you can download the background image and reflection image file, from the link given in the description. So without any wait, let's start creating logo animation. Create a new composition. Name it as golden logo reveal. Make sure width and height is set to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. Here we will set time duration to 8 seconds. Let's add logo to timeline. Here you can scale your logo if needed. Here I will scale this logo to near about 60%. Pre-compose the logo layer. Name it as logo. Move all attributes into new composition. Let's create duplicate of this logo composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. For above logo composition, in effects and preset, search for simple choker. Add it to logo composition. Set choke mat to 6. For below logo composition. Change track mat to, alpha inverted mat logo. This will create outline for our logo. Now select both compositions, pre-compose them. Name it as logo edge. For logo edge composition. In effects and preset. Search for fast blur. Add it to logo composition. Set blurriness to 0.5. Select Repeat Edge Pixels. Now let's add the reflection image to timeline. For reflection image, in effects and preset, search for tint. Add tint to reflection image. Now search for motion tile. Add it to reflection image. For motion tile, change tile width and height to 25. Now at start of the timeline. Create keyframe for tile center. At end of the timeline, adjust the tile center value for x axis as shown. Perfect. For reflection image. In effects and preset. Search for fast blur. Add it to reflection image. Change blurriness to 100. Select repeat edge pixels. For reflection image, press T to bring up the opacity. At start, create keyframe for opacity. Change opacity to 0%. At 2 seconds, change opacity to 65%. At 6 seconds, create keyframe for opacity. At end of the timeline, change opacity to 0%. Now create a new solid layer. Name it as Reflection. Now in Effects and Preset, search for CC Light Sweep. Add it to Solid Layer. Position the marker to center. At start of the timeline, create keyframe for direction. Change direction to 20 degrees. Now at end of the timeline, change it to minus 20 degrees. Press U to view created keyframes. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. 
For CC light sweep, change width to 125. Sweep intensity to 45. Change edge intensity and thickness to 0. Now at start. Create keyframe for center. Adjust the center value for X axis as shown. Now at end of the timeline. Adjust the center value for X axis as shown. Perfect. For reflection solid, in effects and preset, search for turbulent displace. Add it to solid reflection layer. For turbulent displace, increase amount value as shown. Set it to near about 1000. Now press Alt key, and click on the stopwatch of evolution. Here enter expression, time into 15. Let's reduce the size to near about 60. For reflection, press T to bring up opacity, at start, create keyframe for opacity. Change opacity to 0%. At 2 seconds. Change opacity to 100%. At 6 seconds, create keyframe for opacity. At end of the timeline, Change opacity to zero. Select created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Select solid reflection and image layer. Pre-compose them. Name it as reflection one. Place reflection composition below logo edge composition. For reflection composition. In effects and preset, search for CC blob lies, add it to reflection composition. In blowiness, change blob layer to logo edge. Change property to alpha. Change softness value to 10. Cut away to 5. For reflection composition, change track matte to alpha matte logo edge. You can see, glossy outline effect for our logo layer. Select both compositions. Pre-compose them. Name it as Glass Edge. For Glass Edge composition, in Effects and Preset, search for CC Light Burst 2.5. Add it to Glass Edge composition. For Light Burst, change Ray Length to minus 15. Select Halo Alpha. This will create blur shadow effect. Now in effects and preset, search for curves, add curves to glass edge composition. Here we will adjust curves for channel alpha. Perfect. Let's create, duplicate of reflection composition. Open reflection to composition. For solid reflection. Let's remove turbulent displace. Let's remove the direction keyframes. Change direction to 20 degrees. Remove the center keyframes. Position the center as shown. At start create keyframe for center. At end. Position the center as shown. You can see the preview. Let's change width to 50. Sweep intensity to 30. For reflection solid, let's create duplicate of light sweep. Change direction to 15 degrees. Press U to view created keyframes. Here we will adjust the position of the keyframes. Perfect. You can see the preview.
for reflection, change mode to screen. You can also change reflection mode to screen, for reflection 1 composition. If you want you can skip this, as it will not create much difference for outline effect. Now let's add, reflection 2 composition, to timeline. Now add logo composition, to timeline. For logo composition, in effects and preset, search for simple choker. Add it to logo composition. Change choke mat to 3. For reflection composition, change track mat to, alpha mat logo. Select reflection and logo composition, pre-compose them, name it as glass logo. Now add glass edge composition to timeline. In effects and preset, search for exposure, add it to glass edge composition. Change exposure to 2. Perfect. Now add logo composition to timeline. For glass edge, change track mat to alpha mat logo. Now again add glass edge composition to timeline. In effects and preset, search for glow. Add glow to glass edge composition. Set glow threshold to 20%. Glow intensity to 0.4. Now again add glow effect. Here, set glow threshold to 15%. Change glow intensity to 0.3. Now change glow radius to 30. To get perfect, glowing effects according to your logo, you can adjust the glow values. Select all the compositions. Pre-compose them. Name it as glass layer. For glass composition, press S to bring up scale. At start create keyframe for scale. At end of the timeline, change scale value to 90%. Now let's add background image file to timeline. Let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for camera lens blur, add it to adjustment layer. At start, create keyframe for blur radius, change blur radius to 25. At 3 seconds, change blur radius to 0. At 6 seconds, press U to view created keyframes. Create keyframe for blur radius. At end, change blur radius to 25. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now again create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now to get a perfect golden color, you need to adjust the curves as shown. Adjust red channel. Adjust green channel. Adjust blue channel. Perfect. Now create a new solid. Name it as frame. Now double click on rectangle tool to create mask for frame. In mask 1, change mask path. Change unit to percent of source. Set top to 10%, bottom to 90%. Select mode to invert. Perfect. Now let's see the preview.
Here our golden logo animation is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.